any human being who would lie about me to the depth and degree that this landlord has done is, is dangerous in regards to me. You know what I mean? Get in the fuck out of here. What he would pull, if he would pull some bullshit again and call the police and drop a phony, phony accusation against me, you know what I mean? And then I had to protect him, or I, I, I couldn't leave the house, couldn't go. Joke. 
I know what, what he's thinking. He's thinking because everything he's found out about me, he might know about the Jack Kroger thing, you know, whatever. He's thinking that if I was crazy in the past, that they, anybody judge what I will automatically assume that he must be telling the truth about me now. Whatever. Seriously. Whatever, because I know the truth. And I know there is nothing, not one single allegation that he made against me, with the exception of me talking about them out on YouTube in regards to the heat thing. Okay, telling the truth, that's all I ever do is tell the truth. Um, there's not one allegation he made against me that's true. Um, and regardless if anyone out there believes me or not, whether or not you believe me is irrelevant. Because you don't have to believe me about Marion's control over my mom and Marion's lying through her teeth about me. You don't have to believe any of it, okay? I'm going into a shelter. I'm going to tell them I'm not going to talk, that I'm in a state of shock. You know, I was already suffering with PTSD, and now this ordeal with my mom, those eight days of hell, and now this recent one, I just. And maybe, you know, maybe I'll never get to sue because I plan to go to a bar tonight and drink. So. You know, if something happens to me, then nobody has to worry about the truth coming out. But I hope the truth will prevail. He's lying through his teeth. He and his family, apparently. I was desperate to tell Cheryl that I told you, I, I said, I, I bet you anything, he got his family to back up his lies for him. According to that letter, his family's backing up his lies and a non-related friend. And it's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. But in any case, numerous online lawyers bluntly informed me because I was paying rent and whatnot, he had to go through the courts to evict me. Was I going to have him do that? No, no way. No way. But if he had known that and left me alone, I might have, you know, taken a couple of extra days or whatnot. But no way. I can't stand to be here. I'm terrified to be here. I'm terrified in general, even if he, even if he was wonderful. I don't want to be here by myself in this two-story apartment. You know? There's no way I would have done that. But originally, I mean, if, if we were going to have to end of June, I think Bobby, with my roommate, was still going to move out, and I would have been here alone. But I probably would have, if nothing had bad had happened, I probably would have asked him to keep the dog here with me. And I would take care of his dog, you know? In the end, I yelled at him and said, because I've been taking care of his dog for a, a while. He was working around his girlfriend. I've been taking care of his dog, taking care of his dog, you know? And I was, when I was mad at him, I'm like, you can take care of your own goddamn dog, you know. But then when the dog was in here, I was scared. Omar can't protect a flea, you know. I don't believe in any of this. So guys, my friends, if you care about me, I've come full circle. I'm going back into a shelter. But it's not like I'm going back into a shelter destitute. Remember, before I went into the shelter destitute, I'm not even remotely destitute. I have thousands of dollars in the bank. It's just I don't have anywhere to go. And you know what I got from a Craigslist? We responded to my ad. <laughs> I tried to forward it to Treble and I couldn't. It from, but it's from a different email that I have. But I mean, can anyone say psycho? The guy was like, yeah. I live in I, I live deep in the woods and, and if you you can help me with editing something, you know, I can I can take care of you or whatnot. I wrote to trouble and I couldn't afford it, wouldn't afford and um oh and something like the and the psycho chops Laura into pieces, you know, I mean come on. I could put it out on a blog. The guy wrote that to me. I live in the woods. I live deep in the woods. You can come here and do editing for me or something, and I'll make it worth your while. I'll take care of you. 
anyway, make it a point that it, I, it's very difficult when you're disabled and have a dog to find a new place to live in eight days, okay? Four of which are the holiday. A lot of people go, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a joke. It was a joke. I'm more, now I'm more traumatized than ever before, but I'm not destitute. So grateful to be getting out of here. So grateful. I do I jump at the slightest sound. I, I, I get that letter. I'm like, oh my god. Even his family members and friends are backing up his lies. Total lies. Nothing he said was true except for the YouTube thing. And even that, that I wasn't. I didn't threaten them. If I had threatened them, I mean, the police watched the video about the heat, and he said, you're very articulate. He said, you should hear her, to his other cop, but you should hear her going on and on about the heat. But, and he talked to me, and I talked rationally to him. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It was 58 degrees, set to 58. And we actually, I found out my friend could have it on 68. But, you know, it gradually went down, and it was the evening when it finally turned on, since it was on 58 degrees. And a lot of times, I didn't even bother with the heat, because I was up here, and it was warmer. But downstairs, it would be like 65. And according to Joe, Massachusetts law, you can have it 68 every room in the house at, at, in the daytime until 11 p.m. And then from 11.01 until, I think, 6.59 a.m., 64 degrees. In the winter, he actually had the heat like close to 70. Legally, you can only, you're obligated to only have it at 64, but um, I didn't even touch it. He, he had it on that. And, um, but we never took advantage. It's not like we put the heat on 80. They get a lot of rent per month. Anyway, even that's a lie where he says he's terrified for his life and my threatening profane videos towards him and whatnot. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Of course I'm going to be angry about the damn heat thing and then, you know, I'm, all I'm asking is for the normal 30 days to have a new place to live so I've been living and paying rent. And he's like, I can just throw out whenever I want to take shit. You know, it's just for me. And I'm thinking, oh my God, what'd you get me into? What is this? I thought, you know, this is my home. Of course I'm going to be upset. But I never threatened them in any way in any of my videos, you know. They're full of shit. He's full of shit. His family members that are backing up his lies are full of shit. And I didn't deserve any of this. I'm guilty of nothing. Obviously I'll be much wiser in the future. But, you know. So I'm more traumatized than ever before. So I've, I've learned my lesson about trusting anybody, you know, I, I trust even less now. I don't want to even talk to anybody. I'm not even, if I go to a bar and drink, I'm not going to talk to anybody. I want to go to where there's a jukebox. I'm not going to talk to anybody, but I can write on a piece of paper, do you know where there's a bar and there's a jukebox? That plays rock music, not like country or top 40, you know, rock music, classic rock, alternative rock. This was a joke. I, I'm in shock. I'm going with these movers. I'm shocked. I might break down in tears a second. I'm just away. I don't know what's gonna happen. But if they start talking to me, I'm just like, I'm sorry. I went through hell. I'm, I'm traumatized. I can't talk. No. I hope the truth will prevail, people, because I didn't do anything they're accusing me of doing. His bottom line was his bottom line. Of course, if his other, if his real tenant, you know, his real tenant is going to move out, he doesn't want to have to force to evict me and lose out on money or whatnot, you know. But that's not my problem, because we offered, my roommate was going to be a good guy and offer, even if he lived with his girlfriend half time or all the time, whatever, he was still going to pay to his rent, and that guy said no. And again, he did all he wanted was me out immediately. That's all he wanted. He wanted me out immediately probably because he found out about YouTube. But I have an email the day before he 
called 911 on me and made up these phony, phony allegations and I, accusations, whatever. I didn't do anything. He said, I did nothing. Um, I remember, think about how close I must have been to my roommate that he wanted me to meet his girlfriend when he, but he, he I don't really want to meet her, but he wanted me to meet her. And I talked to her on the phone and she was saying, yeah, he thinks we'll get along or whatever. I'm like, why does he want me to meet you? I'm thinking, it didn't make sense to me. And then the day before, that one would pull this shit and cause even, you know, more trauma to end my life. If I have four policemen in Target and harassing me for an hour or more. I don't know exactly how long it was, but it was at least an hour, I know that. Because um, at one point, the cop, this, the really sarcastic cop, the one who was really then niche me, you know, um, the one who had turned me off at the courthouse the day before, wasn't um, treating me as badly. He was like, oh, I'm on your side, yeah, sure. You're just trying to fuck me up, get me to, you know, to show that I'm crazy or something, so you could drive me away, section me, whatnot. But anyway, he, um, the, the one, I said, well, do you want me to tell you what happened? And the guy's like, oh, it's 45 minutes in and now you're going to tell us what happened? Fuck you. He didn't ask me. All you did was drill me. I was, and then I still didn't get to tell him, which would have started with, you know, his dog, roommate. I got along great with my roommate, but his dog got vicious with my dog, and so I decided, no. Then he went, you know, I probably shouldn't go. He decided he's going to move out, too. He might move in with his girlfriend. He's not sure, but he, he went to the landlord, and the landlord didn't want to give us to the end of June. That was the bottom line. The cops didn't want to hear that. They wanted to try to provoke me into, like Joe said, they wanted to provoke you, Lord. They wanted you to be crazy so they can take you away, okay? It's not rocket science, right? Um, in any case, more trauma has entered my existence and I'm even more shattered because of it. That's the bottom line. That's the bottom line. In the end, I have no idea if any lawyer will listen or take my case or care or whatnot, but I intend to pursue this, and we'll see. But there's laws of the universe, too, and, you know, I, I didn't do anything wrong, and I did nothing to warrant this treatment, the treatment that from him or from my roommate, former roommate, it was I considered a friend. I consider him a friend. I him a friend. It's unbelievable. I'm in shock. I don't know how much better I could say it. I am in a state of shock. Okay? State of shock. Did any of this happen? I'm just in an utter state of shock. But it, I have the ability to communicate, so it didn't happen in secrecy, did it? No. Not just out here did I document it. I wrote back and forth to online lawyers several questions over the past, you know, over a week, and I went on a place to bed and wrote my story. So, you know, the pen is mightier than the sword. When you have the ability to communicate succinctly, you really have power because you can get people to understand exactly what's going on. The day before this jerk pulled his thing with calling 911 and, you know, false allegations, slander against me, whatnot. Um, I have a thing for my roommate, an email, trying to get me to be excited for him, and I'm just, my life's falling apart. You can go move in your girlfriend and be happy to I'm not throwing you out, Laura. I'm moving in with my girlfriend and getting engaged. You know, obviously he wanted to tell me this good news. What does that tell you? He and I were friends. Friends. We watched movie, movies, I mean, we were friends. Mutual kindness and respect toward one another. He and I were friends. So, of course, it broke me when he betrayed me, and that's how why I was crying as a Wednesday night. But I wasn't... You know, Thursday is when he pulled his ship Wednesday. Um, and I think what happened was he Googled my name and he found out about YouTube. And then, oh, he, he was out to get me, period. He Googled my name. He found out I had talked about him on YouTube. And I told the truth. 100% the truth. And Bobby can back me up on anything that I said about the man and his wife, you know. 
she's saying he didn't get made for running this letter bullshit. Bobby would tell me if, if they even, if it's Pat, I mean, she calls on the first to make sure he got the rent, he got the rent, okay? So no way did he not pay the rent. The guy's lying for his teeth, whatever. Period. 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 Oh, by the way, I'm 159.8 pounds, but I fasted yesterday. And obviously I'm not going to wear this when the movers come. There's a proof it never hurts to ask. I didn't think any movers would put that because of insurance reasons or something, you know. They would never let you drive with them. But he's like, oh yeah, and I didn't even ask him all right. I was just saying, you know, I have no way to get it. He's like, oh, you, you can drive. I was like, oh, I can? Oh my God, do I have to pay extra? No, oh my God, you want to Can I hug you? I need a hug desperately. I need a hug. I mean, I hug my mom, of course, but I need a hug from somebody. You know, I wish Joe was around, or I can't get to Cheryl right away, you know. I, I need a hug from someone who has the depth and comprehension to understand all this. My mom really doesn't, you know what I mean? I need a, I get where you're coming from, and hopefully in the end you'll have retribution uh, kind of hug, you know. I tell my mom stuff and she gets confused, you know. I mean, she, of course, she knows it's awful what happened to me, but you know what I mean. I, I wish I could. Never mind. I don't understand any of this. I don't understand any of this that has happened to me. I'm just in a state of utter, utter fucking shock, okay? And I don't even have to go buy booze because before all this shit went down, when I planned to go to the movies just for day of escape, you know, I bought a pint of vodka, then I never touched a drop of it. It's in a water bottle. <laughs> I transferred it over to a water bottle, never touched 